Hey security admins, Jack Wallen here to help you get things done. Let's protect our Linux servers from SYN flood attacks and IP spoofing with the help of syscontrol. Log into your Linux server or desktop and open a terminal window. From that terminal, issue the command sudo nano slash etsy slash sysctl.conf. The first option to look for is pound net.ipv4.ip underscore forward equals 1. Change that line to net.ipv4.ip underscore forward equals 0. The next line to edit is pound net.ipv4.conf.all.send underscore redirects equals 0. Change that to net.ipv4.conf.all.send underscore redirects equals 0. Add the following line under that. Net .ipv4.conf.default.send underscore redirects equals zero. Look for the line pound net .ipv4 .conf .all .accept underscore redirects equals zero. Change that to net .ipv4 .conf .all .accept underscore redirects equals zero. Add the following line under that. Net .ipv4 .conf .default .accept underscore redirects equals zero. Finally, add the following lines to the bottom of the file. net.ipv4.icmp underscore ignore underscore bogus underscore error underscore responses equals one. net.ipv4.tcp underscore sin cookies equals one. net.ipv4.tcp underscore max underscore sin underscore backlog equals 2048 net.ipv4.tcp underscore sin ack underscore retries equals 3. net.ipv4.netfilter.ip underscore con n t r a c k underscore tcp underscore timeout underscore sin underscore recv equals 45. Save and close the file. To reload the configuration, issue the command sudo S-Y-S-C-T-L dash P. One caveat to the syscontrol P command is I found it didn't load the TCP max sin backlog properly. It wasn't until a reboot that the 2048 value was added. So after running the sudo syscontrol P command, issue the command sudo less slash proc slash sys slash net slash IPv4 slash TCP underscore max underscore sin underscore backlog and make sure the value presented is 2048. Otherwise, reboot the machine. If you want to learn more in the ways of everything tech, be sure to subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel and watch more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.